certainly changed, mm -hmm. especially when it comes to social media. And things are shaking up over at Twitter after the recent announcement of the discontinuation of the legacy blue checks. Mm -hmm. You might remember back in October sure. of 2022. Yeah. Yeah, I remember because founder and CEO of Tesla, Elon Musk, took over as CEO of the social mm -hmm. media company, which caused a lot of mixed reactions and criticism that has grown exponentially over news of the recent update. And it has even caught the attention of some high-profile mm -hmm. celebs and politicians alike, including William Shatner and Monica Lewinsky, who have both spoken out against the controversial change. Yeah, that's right. Joining us this morning to explain what this all means and how it could affect you is AI social media experts and political commentator Chris Ruby. Chris is also the author of the Ruby Files article, an investigative look at the inside of Twitter's machine learning model. It is hmm. wonderful to meet you. So great to meet you. I'm so happy that you're dedicating that big brain of yours <laughs> to all of this because it, it feels like I fe the landscape changed fast. I feel Real like quick. And I want to get into the AI stuff later, but first, I, I love my blue check. Mm -hmm. It was bestowed upon me as a journalist. <laughs> and, me too, and, yeah. and I know, right? <laughs> too, we're losing it. <laughs> so, yeah, well, that's the thing. So it's supposed to be phased out. Twitter CEO, about the phase out of its old verification, what, what does this mean? Speak to us in English, please. So what it means is that now, basically, all of the legacy verified journalists are going to lose their blue check unless they pay for it and subscribe every month. Of course, this is causing all sorts of problems because how do you know who's real and right. who's not? So he is basically, Musk is, is doing this as a way to stop uh, spam bots and mm -hmm. to help with actually saying you are who you say you are. But in, it comes at a price. Yes. And what is that price? Is it $8 a month or something? Eight dollars ish, eleven dollars ish. It seems to change all the it's time. Like another oh, so streaming they don't even service. know. I was just gonna say this is like what net was Netflix. Yep. Is it? It's another Netflix subscription. So, is it is it gonna be worth it? Do you, in your professional opinion? No. No. I th I think that be unverified is gonna be the new verified. Mm. Listen, be I I'm with you. When when everyone is verified. No one is verified. Right. It's like when on Instagram, public figure, public. We were all public figures. We were, and yeah. Right. So is everyone a public figure now? Right. right. Okay. I guess so. So if I, so, am I going to see the day where I log on and I no longer have a blue check? Do we know if that's going to? Oh, it's coming. Yeah, like within 24 to 48 hours. I feel so basic. We, we, we have to like enjoy our last day today. Wait. Speaking of basic, <laughs> I wonder if you might. I'm going to grab my phone. Well, yesterday in our meeting, we were talking oh, about right. this. So if you go on Twitter now, I believe that Maris Marisol, you have a blue check mark. Yes. Yeah. And if you, oh, we have a full screen. Oh, there we are. We're, but all three of us so are verified. So we're verified accounts. We are. We are. We are. And, and if you click on that little blue check, it, and it tells you what the verified account means, and if you can't read that, I'll read it for you. It says this is a legacy verified account. It may or may not yeah. be notable. We may, uh, we may or may not be notable. I mean, that is just a punch to the gut. By the way, on. That, that doesn't exactly make someone want to pay. For this something. Right. When you, you say they may or may you not be notable. You are worthless. Yes, You're exactly. You're the underneath my shoe. Now give me eight bucks. calling us all losers, but I'll pay $11 a month. But but I'll okay. Play. okay. Could you imagine? It's like being an NPC, a non-playable character. <laughs> what is this, Literally. What does this mean? You know, because we were thinking about, you know, I, I use Twitter frequently. It's yeah. a place where the journalists hang out. It's where the sports yes. hang out. Um, and I know a lot of people who are on TikTok. That is a whole mm -hmm. other entity. Mm -hmm. And I wonder if... If you could just weigh in on that, is this the beginning of the domino that's eventually going to reshape and reform social media as we know it? I think it's the beginning of the end for Twitter for a lot of for a lot of reasons. But I think the other problem that we're seeing right now is the intersection of artificial intelligence mm. uh, and things like ChatGPT, which Italy just banned, by the way, due wow. to privacy concerns. So that just happened, Bans like Chat breaking. GPT. Yeah, they they they're giving them like notice that they have to fall into line and. For those, explain very briefly for those of you who do not know what Chat GPT is. In layman's terms, it is what? It is a um, large language model where basically you can ask your phone or Chat GPT a bunch of questions and it will spit out answers right. customized for you. But there's all sorts of IP issues right. with it. So it's it's basically. There's IP. nothing. Is there anything to compare it to that we've had, or is its own no, thing? It's its own thing. It's not. A, it's not a social media app. It is, I go on it on, on, it's a website. Oh, okay. And so students are using it to say, what, is the, what are the three themes in Romeo and Juliet? And ChatGPT will tell you, will give you a sample essay. So, so like Ask Jeeves. Correct. Like Ask Jeeves, <laughs> but, but 2023, it is 
Things are beautifully written. Yeah. They're in depth. Your 24-7 AI personal chatbot assistant. So one of the reasons this is important at, at, in terms of Twitter is because we're starting to see the rise of deep fakes, whether that's deep mm. fake and AI you have pornography. And you have a, a story about this yesterday. Did yes. you not see a version of yourself? Oh, I did, yeah. On Twitter, tell us. Okay. I've seen many versions of myself on Twitter, yes. With different, I was scrolling my feed and it said uh, women in my feed today. And I was like, oh, that person looks familiar. And it was my face in a video. I've also, there's another tool where you can upload a photo of your face. And then you, I've seen hundreds of websites using my face, including one was a uh, adult website saying oh. like, click here, subscribe oh. now. And so this is, and. This is the beginning of the end for that as well. And women need to understand what's coming with that. Where have you lost total right to your face? Right. right. Well, that's interesting. Um, and this and kind scary. of, yes, because this kind of brings back up what we were talking about at the beginning and this uh, kind of a blend, if you will, because a couple months ago, my Instagram, like many in our industry, was ha ha not hacked, but mm. someone created a fake account. And I am not, I don't have a, a check mark on my Instagram, but I've seen it happen to people who have the check mark mm, and who not? don't. And it was the same thing. And in the bio, it said, you know, here's a link if you want to mm. see me and my photos on an uh. adult website. And I was like, hold up. Yeah. D did anything ever happen? Does it, she have any recourse? No. And, that's a good point mm -hmm. because that my ne my next question was I mean I everyone I know reported it I reported it mm -hmm. and I feel like the guidelines have almost changed on all of these social media sites where you can submit a report you can report something and they're like all right we got it we'll let you know and then like, oh well it doesn't it's you know it's not against any yeah. of our policies so I totally want to I want to talk about that because the majority of all of this of, of social media content moderation is machine learning driven right now oh, and that's God. what people need to understand so when you are get you're really getting bounced back and forth between different automated systems and humans are being phased out of moderation in those systems and in the Ruby files my uh, reporting on Twitter uh, an inside look at Twitter's machine learning model talked about just that how most of these appeals and suspensions, it's all being done automatically with AI. And the Twitter files really sort of gave people this idea that someone like a UL Roth is sitting there talking about their account. But for the everyday average Twitter user, that's just simply not true. Mm -hmm. So is, does this also adversely affect what appears on our timelines because it is now machine driven? Or is it by virtue of I like sports, so I happen to get a lot of sports stuff. Well, so speaking of the timeline, uh, Elon Musk says today at 12 p.m. Pacific time, he will be open sourcing the algorithm for Twitter. So that feels like it's news, but we'll see. <laughs> open sourcing the algorithm yeah. for Twitter. What, could, what can that potentially lead to? Well, I, well, for some, it will show them why they are getting recommended certain content, like what you mentioned. It doesn't necessarily answer a lot of questions we have about machine learning and yeah. how it's being used and what words are included in uh, natural language processing for censorship on the platform. Uh, but it will give people hopefully some answers. But um, what people I think really need to understand is that the entire landscape of social media is about to change rapidly. As um, for example, you saw photos of, of Trump being created with Mid Journey prior mm. to any sort of arrest that were all fake images. Right. Oh, so okay. it's gonna be hard to tell what is true versus what what's is, not true, what and not the true. verification push is for that. So the machines are This are is taking a very over. worrisome time. Please come back and visit, because we have so many more questions. I, could, <laughs> I, I, I have a list in my head that I could just go on and on for. So thank you so much. Thank you so much.